Yo, what's good with y'all? Today I'm about to show you guys how to make a shift to sprint uh, type of button. You guys know, like, when you play this type of games, like FPS games, there's a general game, and you hold down the shift key, you start running, you're, you're basically your speed just increasing and stuff. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to, how to make that, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So you guys are going to want to scroll down here. You're going to want to go over to start GUI, and then uh, I need you guys to trust me on this. You're not going to answer a GUI, you're going to insert a local script. And you're going to delete print hello world. And then you guys are going to want to do, we're going to use repeat. And then we're going to do wait, close parentheses. And then you're going to do until, because we're saying we're going to repeat until game.players.local player. Then we're going to skip two lines. We're going to make a variable local. For this, we'll just call this um we can just call us m this you you can obviously name the variable whatever you want it to be but just make sure it matches up with like the actual function that we're about to make so this will call it local m so we'll do local m equals game dot players dot local dot local player colon get mouse which pretty sure you guys can understand that just means we're getting the local player just getting their mouse basically like you know like literally this like what you guys see moving around right now our mouse and then you guys are going to do m dot key down colon connect function parentheses key basically as you can tell it's a function and stuff and key down basically so when the local player's mouse and it does key down basically when it, when key down basically means it's literally just the same thing as saying when a person clicks a key like how i'm typing with how i'm doing q that's me that's me holding down the key and then like when i take my finger off of it that's key up basically you say the difference but yeah so after you have that you're going to click enter and then in here you guys are going to want to do if key Two equal signs is equal to quotation marks, and then you guys can obviously put whatever you want here. Whatever key you put inside here is whatever the script will detect to then run whatever function you're trying to do. But yeah, we're gonna put zero. And if you guys don't know, basically you can't put shift, like because you can't you can't put shift. You can't like type out shift or anything that won't work. You have to put zero. Basically, so if you put zero, it will work for both shift and zero, but that's basically the workaround for zero. So yeah, you'll do if key equal to equal signs zero, and then you do, and then you do enter, which is then, and then you're gonna want to do game dot players dot local player dot character. It will not autofill, so you guys just have to type this out on your own. Dot character dot humanoid. dot walk speed equals 32 and then we're gonna put another function we're gonna we're gonna go to the bottom we're gonna do enter twice we're gonna make another function basically the opposite of this m dot key up and if you guys remember what i said basically it's when a person takes their finger off of the key function key just like just like the first one so basically just like before if key equals zero or basically shift then game dot players that look clear here is here is where we're basically resetting it back to the default you guys would change these values to whatever your default is or whatever however fast you want the uh, the players to run when they're holding shift down for this we're, gonna, we're just going to do 32 uh the base default uh Walking speed is 16, so we're gonna set we're gonna set it to walking. We're gonna set that to 16. So yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and test this. We're gonna go ahead and click play, and then all right. So as you can see, as I'm walking around, this is currently 16. I can just show you guys too. Uh, I go here to humanoid. Walk speed 16. So then as I'm holding shift, as you guys you guys can clearly see me just 
running way faster and then plus you guys will see my walk speed change here but then if i take my finger off of it walk speed returns to 16 and if i'm if i basically if i just hold down wasd then i just walk at uh speed 16 then if i hold down shift and then wasd then i'm basically running but yeah that's how you uh do shift uh, shift to run if this video was helpful don't forget to drop a like subscribe and leave a comment down below as always, if you guys need help, uh, just leave a comment down below and I will respond. As always, I will leave the scripts in the comments, I mean, not the comments, in the, uh, what's it called, in the description of the video, so if you guys want to copy and paste it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all.